it be your faith in Remember you Ah, I like the overlay. Where are we traveling? We're traveling to Los Agendas. This is New Rat City. Different. There's so many different Puppy terms kicker. for it. Yes, Puppy Kicker. Absolutely. Really? And why yeah. do you get two nicknames and I only get the one? Oh, because it's my channel, right? So when you are on your channel, you can you can do your thing. But I thought Puppy Kicker. Oh, would be great. Yeah, when yeah. you're on my channel, well, <laughs> you wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, don't forget, I'm also a saint. So Rat King and a saint, like Saint Rat King, maybe put it together. Mm. Apparently, well, never mind. Okay. Chelsea <laughs> says. Anywho, Murphy, welcome. Mm -hmm. So give us an update. So what's going on with YouTube, all that stuff, like, and then how are you feeling about current One Piece in general? Let's just start normal, and then we can get into the ratty shit. <laughs> feeling good about One Piece lately. Feeling mm. good about going everywhere, all over the world, all timelines, and just getting every piece of information I could possibly need, except for Kuma. <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm I'm loving it all. So feeling good about that. So I'm with you on the Kuma thing, right? Because you get the feels, you get the feels, you see, I mean, the slavery, the pain, the crying, you already saw the, like you saw how beaten he was and you're immediately feeling it. And then you see Bonnie like struggling. And out of nowhere, we're like, all right, it's about to be the saddest backstory I've ever seen. And we just don't get it. It's gone. And we just don't get it, Jay. Just, yeah, I don't know. It's off page. If we come back and Bonnie's like, and now I know all the things. Anyway, moving on. Here, let me summarize it for you, Luffy. I will be so mad. Yes. It we'll was. do anything about it. It was I'm honestly I'm going to continue to read the story, but I'll complain. Well, that's like typical of Oda. But then at the same time, Oda's just giving us all the answers in the world, like with Emu and he's not even off-screening stuff anymore. Like no uh, he does. When you say answers, he's giving us answers on Emu. You mean he's opening up more mysteries. He's opening up more mysteries, but it's like, are they really answers, I guess? No. <laughs> we find out that he's the creator. We okay. find out that he definitely is centuries old. Well, almost definitely centuries old. We find out that he's connected to Vivi's family. Do we get any answers or did we just start asking more questions? We asked more questions. We did get his last name. I don't know if that counts, right? No. What's his last name? Nerona. Remember what Ivankov said? So Ivankov was talking to Sabo and it's like, oh, Emu, there was once an old celestial dragon with the last oh, name Nerona. Right. So that, right. Technically, so that technically counts. Ooh, somebody cool. wasn't paying what, attention. Tell me what answer, what is that answer for you, Jay? Or is it just a tidbit of information you've received? It's a tidbit of information I received, but he never gives me information. So you know what? Maybe I'm easily You're satisfied. Yes, yeah, so just like, <laughs> just, you know, I'm feeding on scraps. For so yes, long. like honestly. <laughs> You know, I've been eating spam for years and all of a sudden I get a piece of a steak and now I'm excited. Like, you know, fair enough. Fair enough. That is, it, 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 had, it was, I mean, it was very satisfying. Well, there's also um, what happened between Sabo and Cobra, right? That technically is an answer because we didn't know what happened. Right. So we know. Okay, fair enough. So we know. Now we know that Cobra's dead. We know that Cobra's dead. We know Sabo didn't kill him. We actually saw it, which was unique. Right. Yeah, I didn't expect that. That was great. And then also, Goro says actually being fighters. Like, we didn't know if they were just political powers or combatants. It looks like they're combatants in Emu. I don't know if I'd call him a combatant, but I'd say he has a power, a broken yeah. power. So, I mean, well, that sounds like a combatant to me. But these are answers, right? So that's like three. We got something do here. Think, do you think the elders are wrapped in shadow? Or do you think that Oda was just waiting? He's just going to give us the full form reveal later he's given us the full form reveal later and the only reason i know that is because he's done that so many times i know he has but i don't want it to be the truth i want them to be wrapped in void oh so you literally just want them to be shadows and that's it nothing else no they're human but right. i want emu to be able to wrap his void void fruit around them to make them impenetrable because you know how sabo came in with his fire punch and it didn't really seem to do anything yeah so they're wrapped in void. His punch went through nothing. Is that your agenda? That's an agenda. That's 100% an agenda. Well, that was a theory, Jay. No, oh, theories are <laughs> agendas. You know this. 
they're not based on logic, right? Like, where's the logic behind it? But well, there's okay. logic, but there's that's small, my agenda. That's your I'm agenda. High on this hill. There it is. You see, chat. I keep telling casual people. Casual theory five minutes ago, but today I will die for it. Exactly. So we know what Murphy's agenda is, right? Congratulations. You're officially a full-fledged rat now. Every rat needs an agenda. So this is great. Oh, but you also, what is it? You don't like caribou. There's also somebody else that you didn't like that I thought was absolutely egregious. Who was it? Was it Jimbe? Uh, and, oh, I love Jimbe. You said something crazy about Jimbe. I don't know what no. it was. I, no. Okay, well, the chat will remember. I'm sure they'll give me. <laughs> chat, if you remember My, anything. You, she I doesn't like Dofi. That's what it was. Doflamingo. That is such, that's so You're toxic. You're supposed to like him. He's yes. evil. We like Crocodile. Yes. Okay, then. <laughs> Crocodile's not evil. He's cool. Crocodile's not evil. He only just tried to nuclear bomb an entire kingdom for a stone. I don't see a problem. You don't see a problem. Okay. All right. If you're cool, you get a pass. If you wear pink feathers, then, you know. So are you hating on his outfit? No, I actually have no issues with his outfit. I, he's just so hateable. I don't, I think he's an amazing character. I love him as a character. I just hate him because I'm supposed to and he's written very well, so I do, I hate him. That's fair. So you're equating him to like Joffrey or well, you hate Joffrey so much. From there Game you go. Thrones, right? I've never seen Game of Thrones, but yeah. You've never seen Game of Thrones? I know he's hateable though. I understood the reference. No, 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 no. Wait, have, have you, okay. You probably read the books, right? I've read the first two. First two, I don't know if that counts. Chat, does that okay. count? I don't think that counts. No, you're a reader. Pages. You you have a book channel. How do you have not? What? I don't understand. I'm now I'm confused. I don't like Martin's writing. You don't like his writing? Can you ask me an easy question? Say something that won't make them yell at me. No, I like them yelling at you. So so <laughs> break this down. Why? Why not? What is about Game of Thrones that's what, not moving uh, you? I <laughs> I think that. It's an interesting story. Uh, possibly I read it partially at the wrong time because I just really, I just couldn't really get as involved in it as so many people seem to do. But his prose bother me. He won't stop repeating the same phrases over and over again, especially descriptions. You know how many pink nipples I've read about? Oh my God. You know how many flapping penises I've heard about? Like, I'm so tired of him <laughs> describing bodies in the exact same way over and over again. I'm sorry if you don't say words like that on your stream. <laughs> yes, we do, but still. <laughs> I just never expected from you, that's why. <laughs> he run through the woods and have flapping appendages in his, those two books. I mean, I mean, okay, that's kind of valid. I'm not even, I'm not even <laughs> mad at that. I'm not gonna lie. That's that's kind of crazy. But this is why you should watch the you show. A five page description of a tree, Jay. Then watch the show. Why not watch the show? <laughs> I haven't watched the show. You should watch the show. It's worth it. Okay, I won't do it, but I will say okay so that we can talk about something. That is else. so ready. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> okay. Let's talk about the Sanji video, right? So it yeah, seems like okay. our, our Oh, right. We need to talk about the Sanji video. Yes. Okay. I don't remember anything I said in it, but go for it. It's okay because we'll we'll figure it out as we go along, right? So yeah. your views on Sanji's backstory mm. and the Ben Smoke in general. Did you think the Ben Smoke were necessary, a necessary addition? Because a lot of people with Sanji's backstory believe the Vince Smoke were kind of just a non-factor. Like, they're not necessary. They weren't really? really needed in the story. Now, obviously, in Wano, we kind of... Like a huge part of what shaped him and also what all the recent developments about his biology and mm -hmm. stuff, like, all of that, does is not, that not important? I feel like a big piece of who he is as a character comes from his backstory, too. I think... And if, a lot of it comes from Cook, but... Or Chef. I think it's more the Vince Smoke... Let me rephrase that. I think it's more the Ben Smoke characters themselves were very underwhelming and undeveloped. While it helped Sanji with his backstory and it came to fruition in Wano, the Ben Smokes themselves seemed very dry and flat, one dimensional. Do you agree with that? Just the siblings, or are you talking about Judge? The siblings. Judge is a little, well, Judge is a bitch, but that's different. So, like, there's, <laughs> so there's that. Yeah. I mean, his parents were essential. His siblings being flat, I think, is fair. I don't think that I know them super well, nor do I feel that I need to. Okay. I don't 
think there's necessarily anything wrong with having side characters that are just simple side characters that aren't compelling especially a series and a world as big as one piece i think that one of my least favorite things is when everything ties together so tightly that it feels like you can't have any movement without it being convenient because everybody knows everybody everybody's connected to everything nothing actually it doesn't feel like the plot is existing in the world it feels like the world wraps around the plot one piece doesn't feel that way and part of that is because there are characters that are not essential to the plot that just come in and out. And so I don't think there's anything wrong with having a side character that isn't, they doesn't have their own story, they just serve a purpose. And Sanji being compared to his siblings and Sanji being deemed worthless because his siblings were better, they served their purpose. And I think that was essential for his character. I agree with that. That I agree with. What I did not like, this is probably one of the only things I really didn't like with the Vinsmokes, is the resolution and their change in tune around Sanji. Yes, Sanji saved them, but like, it's just like, oh, well, hey, I understand you know what I mean? It's like, oh, hey, Sanji saved yeah. us. Now we're going to help him. Like, I thought these guys were emotionless creatures. Yeah. I thought we'd still see some sociopathy with it, yeah. but it seemed like they acknowledged him after yeah. a while. And I'm just like, well, maybe it's like the whole sh might make might makes right ideology that judge instilled in them but at the same time it's like i don't know it's just they're very forgettable yeah. egg niji yonji very no i agree they are they're very you know? forgettable um i i understand what you're saying and i i do agree with it it's not something i've thought of but you're right it feels a little bit like oda was like all right now we need to wrap this up and this will feel nicer than if he saves them and then they smack him down and say you're still worthless get out right, right. which <clears throat> maybe one would be more realistic according to their characterization but it's also not surprising with Oda's writing that he would choose to do something that's like let's wrap this up in kind of a nicer way and and move on which isn't an insult he just likes happy he, he likes not being not ending on sadness if that makes sense no that's fair although I would like it if Oda had a very uh ruthless yeah infinity war-esque <laughs> ending you know where everything is just wrong and he kind of did that with sabaudi if you think about it right sabaudi yeah. was pretty sad that's true you're right so did marine ford actually huh. yeah Seems but like then he followed up with post-war which was like one of the most hopeful arcs in the world that's true no that's true i can give you that but still sabaudi was like very sad that now that i really think about it like that's the first time we really just saw luffy lose period like outright like yo it was over he lost um so that would have been nice i mean back to the back to the sanji thing however um i always like asking this question right when it comes to his chivalry there's two ways that people take it yeah people take it as honorable sticking to your ideals some people take it as sexist um because it compromises his chivalry compromise is compromised with his perversion that oda likes to go pretty far with for you personally as a woman how do you feel about that conflict of interest with the perversion and the chivalry do you does it bother you or no it bothers me the way oda does it sometimes because sometimes he leans so far into it that it's a gag and yes he always gets hit but that doesn't change the fact that like the audience is meant to laugh at it right so that element bothers me uh, but I love Sanji's chivalrous side. I love men who are looking out for women. And I think that there's so much of Sanji that I love. I love how much he is looking out for Nami and Robin constantly and looking out for his entire crew. Uh, but like he's, he's always defending. And I love that about him. Um, and I don't think there's anything wrong with Sanji also having a pervy side if it's addressed but i don't think that making it a joke and then hitting him and then making that a joke and then moving on is necessarily the same thing as confronting if that makes sense yes and i don't think it is i don't think it's ever really been confronted um not i truly. not truly like i laughed at it pre-time skip and I, i'm trying to figure out why i think it's more because it was balanced. Well, time skip, it was way less. It was way less. It. Right. Yeah. And then post time skip, especially like early Wano, Fishman Island was the worst of it. Um, Fishman Island. It's just. Um, 
the the thriller bark. Uh, thriller not so bark. Great. Thriller bark was kind of wild, yeah. But I mean, <laughs> I think he was overshadowed by Absalom and his lechery, so I think we were kind of like, hey, he's not Absalom, right? So that, that's that. That's kind of like, hey, you're not sexually assaulting. Yeah, people, so, uh. you know, the bar's low. All right, the bar's low. <laughs> so it literally probably below hell at this point. But um, <laughs> that's something that. Well, the good thing is, like, after Sanji's whole development with um, the Vin Smokes, the biology raids, crushing the raid shoot, Ifrit Jambe, a lot of people forgot. I'll be honest. Yeah. Sanji used to be criticized all the hell before all of that, mm-hmm. right? It just goes to show that, you know, we're, we're fickle fans at the end of the day. You give us something, yeah. oh, like, we yeah. just forget everything, right? We're extremely fickle. I am too. <laughs> um, so I, 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 I'm an agenda merchant, so, you know, things change all the time, right? I'm, yeah, I own I it. I love you, man. You don't miss Luffy. I don't. I don't. Is there something wrong with that, personally? Because now we're here. Now we're talking agenda. I don't miss Luffy, right? I I love where we're at. Do you miss Luffy? No. <sighs> but I want to make fun of you for it. No, you shouldn't, because you don't miss him either, right? So this is good. We're on the same. Our our MC is Sabo right now. Hey, I love Luffy, but mm. we've been having some, we've been having some good some good food. So I'm not I'm not too mad. I'm sure Luffy's having good food too, wherever he is. Yeah, I'm sorry okay. I said it. No. <laughs> Listen, I said it. I said the thing, right? That's what they are. Yes, it's the truth, right? They are. They are. So on June it, Juneteenth of all, you know, all that stuff, it's fine. But yeah, <laughs> imagine. Trial of the Century Part 3 is coming. By the way, we will put Joe behind bars. I don't know if you've seen that series, but that is that's something we're doing. He muted. What did I mute, Jacko? Or something else. Okay. But next question okay is it more sanji no 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 we'll get back to oh, sanji. Let's talk about zoro next who do you like better sanji or zoro i should know the answer to this question i do i just want to make the chat go oh uh, so obviously sanji right because i think sanji's a better character period point blank period Ooh. yeah like at, at this point in time like every you're time invisible. it doesn't matter if i try to stir up controversy you're like good bring it <laughs> Well, you understand, you're like, oh, you're the rat queen. You understand, I'm the rat founder. I know I embrace this. At this point, the community has hated my guts, and now have they've changed their tune, they've accepted the agenda. So at this point, I'm untouchable. <laughs> you know, so like for me, it's okay. I was I was molded by it. Like, what's the, t- who? Bane. Uh, I was born in the agenda. Molded uh, by it. I don't know if you've seen The Dark Knight. You haven't seen it, have you? Stop asking me if I've seen things. Jesus Christ. Chat, do we have questions? Start asking Murphy what she's seen, because we're going to take a list of it, and we're sending you a movie list. Have you seen Master Commander? No, what is that? That's a... That's a... Nautical story. Chat, have you heard of Master and Commander? Okay. So, it was released around the same time as Lord of the Rings, so it flopped, and that was just not fair. Okay. But it should have been a success. It's this amazing nautical tale fighting it the it's really good okay was it, it like on netflix hbo streaming service um i think it's free on youtube free on youtube okay i'll give it a chance yeah I'll give it a chance you? On stream. yeah you told me you gave jade, War- jade city a chance in i did city. i did i listened to like 10 <laughs> minutes of it right <laughs> and i won't lie i was like i don't know i'm not used to listening to audiobooks but like on actual books, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's fair. So like at that point, I put it down. I still have it on Audible though. So it's, I still see it. And I'm like, oh yeah, I promised I'd, I'd listen to it. So in the it's future, okay. give it like I didn't years. even care for the series. I just thought you would like it because you love The Godfather so much. I do, which you've seen, right? You have seen that. <sighs> God. All right. Have you seen Arcane? Seen Arcane. I loved Thank it. Thank God. Oh my God. <laughs> I was about to say, like, you're just losing me more and more as we go along. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Goodfellas. What? You have Goodfellas, the movie. Oh, no. Okay, so you haven't Ask seen. Ask me about something else, Jay. I'm about to say, you haven't seen monster movies. Okay. Okay, you've seen okay. Avatar, all that other stuff. Monster what? movies. Hmm? Mobster. Mobster, like uh, Goodfellas, Godfather, oh, the Irishman, oh, stuff no. like that. No. Um, okay. <laughs> Rat King is getting kicked out as we speak. Yeah, you're losing the chat. 
One Piece. Ask me about One Piece. Ask you about One Piece? Oh, but that's... Uh, okay, Shanks or Mihawk? This is important. As in, are we power scaling? Who would win in a fight? It's agenda. It doesn't matter. We okay. don't need power scaling. Narrative. Whatever reason you want. Shanks. Okay, why Shanks? Better hair. I like that. That's a great answer. That's a fantastic <laughs> answer. That's a great answer. Just better hair. That's good enough. So the agenda is, this is how we spin things. So the agenda is Mihawk doesn't take care of himself. He doesn't take care of his hair. Shanks does, right? That's it. Probably too. Yeah, I, bet he Mihawk, I think Mihawk. <laughs> I couldn't even keep my composure. <laughs> so Mihawk doesn't bathe. Mihawk has dandruff. Like we've got it, right? So oh, that's, yeah. that's greasy that's hair. Greasy it's hair. Yeah, it's not going to be good. <laughs> Mihawk is bald. He's got such a long sword. He doesn't like people getting too close. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm very shocked by this, but I'm okay with this. We're going with this. Okay, <laughs> so then, do you believe Mihawk is actually the world's greatest swordsman, or is that a fraudulent title? Oh, obviously. He holds the title because Shanks doesn't care to challenge it. Mm, okay, good. That's a great answer. So, Mihawk Go is a fraud. Take that and make it into a short. Oh, it's too yeah. late. My, my shorts guy is in the chat. It's over. <laughs> it's actually over. So, I'm going to pray for you because... <laughs> you know, you don't you're not on Twitter, thank God. So you'll be saved. But Mihawk stands are by far by far the worst creatures I've ever seen in my Wait, life. Really? They Is are horrific. Like I'm jumping quick. I'm all in Mihawk. <laughs> it's no, it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> it's it's way too late. Yeah, you're finished. You're finished. <laughs> so I made I made a joke, and I, I I don't know if you saw the short, but I made a joke about Figurland, who is you know the um, the God Knight, right, with the little moon hair. We saw a sword, and I'm thinking, okay, there's a swordsman, right, God Knight, say and villain. Clearly, Mihawk's a fraud, right, because this guy's stronger than Mihawk. I made a joke. I, there were oh you can't and then there was this it, granted it was a small majority but you know we're sensitive so we saw it and there was a lot of people like oh yeah fuck jay we hate him oh my god he should die right, right you know right, this is yeah. what's wrong how could you basically me calling mihawk a fraud is a direct attack on zoro saying how dare you insult zoro's dream you don't care about oda and his story that's how yeah, they spread it. to reach that far it's just unbelievable right it's yeah. like wow like somebody else ate the gum gum fruit besides luffy so that's what i was thinking. <laughs> so yeah right is that why you did the poll on your channel the mihawk or, or shanks yeah did you do that no i think that was grand line Oh, that was well, Liam that did it. I just I clicked Shanks and I moved on. As you should, because that's all. That's the right answer no matter what. So I mean Mihawk. I clicked Mihawk. Twitter. Okay, so what I want you to do is show that Murphy lied at first <laughs> and then told the truth. It makes it even funnier, right? So, <laughs> cool. so then there was that incident, and then Morge made a video titling "Is Mihawk a Fraud?" They berated him all over. He was trending. For the abuse he got for just suggesting oh, me on no. the front. Yeah. So the community Did he get in response to you? No, I, I mean I hope not. I don't know. I mean, I don't think I have that type of influence, but maybe. Who knows? For the agenda, yeah. I think oh, he did. For the agenda, yeah. You are yeah. influencing everybody, Jay. Everybody watches your videos and goes, ah, I know what I'll film next. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. So I used to be hated by One Piece Reddit. Like that used to be a thing. Oh really? Yeah. So it was when I was slandering kid aggressively. Oh, um, right. you yeah. know my hatred. Yeah, you know my hatred for kid. Oh yeah. Um, and then I was angry at the Black Maria Sanji thing. Did not like that at all. Really? Yes. Did not like that. We'll have to talk about that. Go ahead. Yes, we keep, will. Keep listing your sins. Um. <laughs> and, and then what else was it? Um. Obviously, just reactions power scaling stuff like that ever since i started the agenda piece thing right and i told everyone to be a rat because that's what we do logic over facts we need to do it. it just changed everyone's like wow i want to be a rat too wow agenda it sounds fun because at the end of the day it's not serious who cares you're just making shit up oda's gonna write what he writes we'll analyze it but make up shit and enjoy it so ever since then my mod looked at um um one piece reddit and type in the word agenda. Everyone's like, oh my God, I have this agenda. Oh my God, JD's the most hilarious YouTuber. Oh, I, I was like, it. it's just like, wow, it's been one big turnaround. It was a great time. And this is the gift of agenda because everybody, 
everybody can have an agenda, right? And here's the thing. You, I would say, you're around, you focus on the narrative of One Piece, correct? Or am I misrepresenting you here? I don't know. Sure. (laughs) So I'm going to judge you then and say you focus on the narrative of One Piece. You're like, you know, you're a, a literary One Piece YouTuber. Although you have, we've learned that you have a lot of rat in you. So I think you're just hiding that side, right? So there's oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're definitely hiding it. But unless you're on this channel, then it comes out. That's right. Um, I would say that when it comes to the narrative, a lot of people like to focus on theories, right? Because people don't like power scaling. Oh, you can sure. get very toxic, right? Um, so they go on theories. And people are like, oh, people only power scale for agendas. Agenda, everybody has an agenda. They just don't call it that. Because think about it this way. Power scaling is basically projecting what you think Oda intends with a character and then projecting matchups to be like, this is how it would happen because Oda showed this and Oda showed that. Therefore, I can say this. People are like, oh, that's bullshit. It's headcanon. When you break, all reading is in general. That's all it is. So when you make a theory, what it is, what is it that you're doing? You're projecting that Oda's going to do something based on what he said. That's it. That's it. And you're trying to tie in all these clues. Yeah. To me, they're one and the same. It's just that one, hold on, you had something to say. I would argue that theorizing is more of an agenda than power scaling. That's another short, go ahead. Because you're not just saying, okay, I perceive this and this. You're actually trying to construct a whole new narrative based off of puzzle pieces. And then like a lot of people will ride or die for that those new narratives. They'll be like, this is what One Piece is going to be. And then if it's not that, then it's like, oh, there's a bad storyteller. Like, I, you know, you see that all the time. All the time. But they told me yeah. I'm crazy. They told me I was a madman. Here we are, chat. Confirmed. The literary One Piecer said, <laughs> Jay approved. Literary One Piecer. <laughs> and this is why Murphy is the rat queen. Perfect. Because this is exactly what I've been saying. It's so simple. Like, it's literally everyone has an agenda. You can either have fun with it or you can get too torn up about it and get butt hurt. Like, the raid failing and ZKK and the power scaling and Katakuri versus Zoro. I know, but I like making fun of all of It's fun. I do. We're going to also... <laughs> we're going to you Dream Team. I'm not going to join. I, I don't want to make fun of people. You make fun of me. What do you mean? I make fun of you all day. I don't want to make fun of <laughs> Oh my God. All right. So chat, you're here to hear again, impartial treatment. It is what it is, right? I met, so actually we're going to DreamCon at the end of July and Morge lives in Austin. So I've met Morge before. The reason I know I can make fun of Morge is because Morge is just, just as big as, just as big as a rat as we are. Maybe (laughs) even worse. I'm not going to lie. Hides it. Yes. Have you seen? Do you have you seen his video on why Zoro is not going to kill Kaido and why it's stupid? You may not have, but it was very famous. So it was famous because they said it's stupid. He said Zoro killing Kaido just because Luffy beat him down and then he cuts Kaido's head off would be the equivalent of um, praising the the Marine guard that cut off Roger's head as like, oh my God, this guy killed Roger. He basically yeah. said Zoro would be doing that would make him Marine guard number two. <laughs> and it's like one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it was like unbelievable. That's and amazing. people were furious, people were upset, and then Zoro didn't kill Kyle though. And then we had a whole sermon about it. I had a stream about it. I made memes. Such a good time, oh my God. It's we didn't even get a cut, we just got a big punch. Oof. Were you bothered by that, the big punch? No, because it wasn't just a big punch. It was a whole lot that came before that, but I wasn't bothered, but I wasn't fully satisfied. I wish that it had been more or something different. I feel like me, I almost said me Hawk. I feel like Oda wrote himself into a hole by making Kaido so strong that he'd have to do something outrageous to beat him. And he'd done all this damage, and the only thing Luffy really could have done at, at this point with his power was probably a big punch. Like, what else would he have done? That's um, I don't know. Maybe he could have worked together with the Red Scabbards and and the and the Sulong. Did I say that right? Yeah, you did. Thanks. Um, like we had all this buildup about the Red Scabbards, and then ultimately it took Luffy punching real big. So we could have teamed up with them. As well as Zoro and Sanji, his wings, 
as people call them, and they could have like team tackled him. And that would have been a more realistic taking down the strongest man in the world, as well as gone along with how important these people were supposed to have been to the success of Wano. I mean, they were, because they shepherded in the sun god who, you know, who saved them all, but didn't it doesn't always have to be just Luffy. Like, look at... Why do I forget the... Thriller Bark. I forget it every time. Mm. Look at Thriller Bark. Look at how they work together as a team to take down uh, Moria and, and Ors. They work together on that. They they called out different, like, you do this, and you you take care of his arm, and you take care of that, and you like, they were a team. At the, at the end of the day, Luffy still was the hero, but right. it was a team effort. And while Wano 2 was a team effort because they were coming in in waves and different people had different moments, at the end of the day, it was Luffy. Right. But it could have been a teamwork thing. So, it's not bad, it's good. However, I'll but. tell you why it's bad. And it's bad for a genius. <laughs> because if Luffy did not beat Kaido 1v1 and it was all the Red Skybirds, they'd say, oh, Luffy gets another Mickey Mouse W. Like, it doesn't mean anything. Luffy's not Who that Who cares strong. what they say? Ooh. I didn't know you had a fancy mic. Listen at me. Whatever Oda does, <laughs> they will say. So just make it a good story. Fair. But what does the agenda say? And that's what that's my number one line. What does the agenda say? Uh, um, Kiori should have done it. Who? Kiori. Kiori? I don't know. You want me to have an agenda, so I just came up with something. Okay, but something better than that, girl. <laughs> I gave you a real answer, and it was bad, so I gave you a bad answer, and now you're outraged. <laughs> that answer is Odin. unacceptable. Odin should have come back to life. And no. No, Orochi should have come back to life one more time and turned on everybody, and he should have done it. Oh my God, I would literally throw up in my mouth if I saw Orochi oh again. God. Him, Conjuro actually. The worst ending we got. With it was <laughs> all the falling action. Conjuro shows up in my nightmares. I swear, I have never been more upset seeing somebody come back to life in my life than seeing Conjuro come back. He had like 17 final performances. Like, oh, I'm getting PTSD just thinking about it. Holy shit. It was so bad. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I just, I'm actually getting upset. Holy shit. I just remembered all of that. I'm like, wow, why me? Like, why did we have to do this? It was three panels, Jay, Copium. <laughs> we had such good villains at Orochi and Kajiro. It just kept coming back and coming back. <laughs> Just unbelievable. I mean, it's... And there was a lot of good in Wano. I'm not going to act like it was Oh my bad. goodness, I love Wano. There was a lot of good. Oh my god, that's sacrilegious to say on this channel. You can't say you love Wano. I'm sorry, I hate it. <laughs> there you go. You see? <laughs> just a small correction, that's it. And then the yeah, casino. I always misspoke. You misspoke, okay. <laughs> the chat does not believe you at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do, I love Wano. Wano has some amazing moments amazing sections Absolutely. amazing it's some really bad stuff too like wait big mom like all of big mom you thought all of big mom was bad no but i'm really mad so i i have that hyper hyperbole i don't blame you i think mothering mode was a disgrace to me personally but sorry mothering mode remember mothering mode by tama she didn't attack tama oh yeah that was <laughs> awful that was terrible. The amnesia, mothering mode. Amnesia. Oh my God, that was bad. That's my big offense. Yeah, but I think that was the one time the entire community was like, yeah, this is ass. Like, this is not, yeah. oh no, this wasn't a good move. I think there were two unanimously, three. Kaido's backstory, mothering, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big Mom's, and yeah, whatever that was. The slideshow, <laughs> there you go. You had the amnesia and then, um, oh my god, it was on the tip of my tongue. There's actually three, because Conjuro comes. Conjuro mode, eh? Kenny Mon, the fake death. Ah! <laughs> that was, the entire community was like, this is Why terrible. Why didn't put me back together, right? That was bad. That was like, Jesus is Lord. I couldn't believe that, because it's like, what, what upset me is like, Oda wrote that alleged death so well but oh, wow. the moment the momo moment the kaido speech i was like wow so well yeah and he's like lol my bad i lied like 
JK. I'm just like, no. It's kidding. I'm sure Doji's dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm like, I mean, him dying. The way he died, like, you just see his grave. That's it. He just exploded. Like, it's like SpongeBob. He just exploded, and that's it. Nothing else. I'm so mad about it. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so mad about it because, because he was such a good character. He was the best character. Get a lot of spotlight and so i knew i knew as soon as he as soon as it was confirmed that he was dead i knew that people would say eh, it doesn't matter he didn't do much which is factually that's, that's wrong. wrong it's wrong yeah it's 100 wrong and i was right people were saying that and it made me so mad because the least you could do is give him an, a good and it was a good death but you could have given him good falling action so that we actually felt it rather than just being like oh yeah an explosion those happen every day yeah i it's the very beginning, right? With the shoot tomorrow stuff, Jack, the Snatchy chapter where all of them just run away to Oshikashima and they died, and our Ashura Doji's like furious. It's like, oh my god, like you left me for 20 years. I watched all my homies die. It's like he felt the plight of Wano more than all of the scabbards. Like literally yes, all did, of them. Jay. I'm just like, oh my god. Yes, he did. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Did. He suffered he, more than not that. Not only did he feel it worse than everybody, do you remember when he was talking to Dogstorm and someone else? And probably yeah. someone, I don't know. And he was yeah. saying, why did we have to wait 20 years? Why did it have to be so long? And yeah. like, you can feel the pain in him that he suffered as he's waited. Yeah. And yet, he collected the map. He repaired the ships, or whatever the two things that he did. He was loyal and diligent despite losing faith. Yep. Like, come on that's an amazing character yeah great character i agree <sighs> some people are saying dendro arguably i i mean i feel for dendro i do oh but it's like that whole i'm disappearing for the entirety of the arc to show up at the end i was like you lost me with that one I'm like, oh, I, was like, yeah. I loved dendro until exactly what you just said and i was yeah. like yeah. i was so excited oh for him too. I'm like yo he's about to do something and you just don't you literally just don't see him like period until the very end an answer <sighs> yeah but it's true that he did suffer a whole lot too and he was also extremely loyal even in his suffering that's true red scabbards red scabbards were great especially conjuro my goodness what a man <laughs> are you saying that just to piss me off yeah. I knew it. Fuck off. <laughs> I knew it. I was like, shit. <laughs> uh, and so this, I did not expect trauma bonding over Wano's bad parts. Like that's not supposed. That's not what's supposed to happen. Um, <laughs> so let's let's just get back to something more positive. Oh my god, I've lost my train of thought because I'm thinking of Conjuro and I'm furious. Um, Think about Big Mom. It'll make it better. Big Mom. Oh, that just makes it. I mean, I liked, I liked seeing her powers at least, like seeing like her actual, like her bag is deep, right? Like Oda was very creative with her powers, right? <gasps> oh, you're right. The chat said Buggy. You must, I did turn, so I remember I slandered Buggy last time I talked to you. I gave him a lot of props last time. He looks great. I like that speech. Let's go find the One Piece. I like Buggy. He's a good character. Yeah, you do. I like him. He's good. Good. Thank yeah. you. He's a good character. He's a good character. He's That's all you're getting from me. Yeah, but that's it. That's all I get from you? That's Yeah, he's a great character. That's it. Say about the Shanks stuff? Buggy and Shanks? Did he say anything about Shanks after that? Like what? The flashback we got? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, I remember you now. We just did? Oh, okay, it's it's done. I, I just killed it? Okay, I apologize. Well, <laughs> it is what it is. Um... I remember now when Shanks tried to have Buggy join his crew and Buggy was like, no, I'm not doing that. Is that the flashback you're talking about that? Yeah. I need to read that again because I barely remember it, but I know that was good. I enjoyed the chapter. I enjoyed the speech. And it's the fact that he, he's been getting abused by Mihon Crocodile the entire time he's there. Like actually like legit physical abuse. And he still had the balls to announce it to everybody, despite them already wanting to kill him for the freaking ship, the Yonko, everything. So I was like, yo, honestly respect like i like if a character is useless they better be a good character at least buggy's not useless but in context I'm and comparison really. yeah he's pretty useless it's not unfair. yeah so it's like he's pretty useless in terms of like what he's actually capable of but in terms of his character in that moment i was like yo that's perfect like i'm i'm okay with that 
what Buggy is capable of is falling gracefully and uh, adapting. Regardless of how badly he fails, whatever kind of grace he falls into, he captures that, balls it up, and amplifies it. And he's like, why, yes, I am an influencer that's broadcasting this entire war. Why, yes, I am a warlord. He, no matter what situation people misunderstand about him, he's like, all right, let's roll with that. And I love that about him. I do too. I, I'll give him his flowers. I, he'll never be in my top 10 characters ever. But I won't. Who's my top three? Garb. Straw hats excluded. <laughs> There's no straw hats in my top three. Oh, okay. Yeah. Garp, Blackbeard. Are we talking written or just like Twitter favorites? Because they're, they're, they're different. Wait, what was, what was that? So are you talking about like top three written or just favorites in general? I don't know the distinction. There is a distinction for me. Okay. So whatever you want to do. I'll do both. So my favorites, Garp, Blackbeard, Sanji. Yeah, okay. So Sanji's in my favorites. Ah, right. Sanji, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So I do like Sanji. Sanji's one of my favorites. I can't betray my Sanji. Agenda. Yes, you can, because I said Straw Hat's excluded. Okay, so taking Sanji out. Yes. I want to say Ace, but that's not true. Crocodile. There you go. Oh my god. Hey, yes. I yeah, yeah. Favorite, favorite, favorite. I'll favorites. Just on Crocodile. Yeah, Crocodile, that's my top three. And in my top three written, Ace, Garb, and Honestly, probably Dofi. So probably Dofi, yeah. Crocodile, Ace, and Dofi, is that what you said for your written? Written no Garp, Ace, and Dofi. Oh, okay. So why did why did Blackbeard get kicked out? To explain your distinction. It's because we still need more of Blackbeard, his backstory, motivation, uh, stuff like that, right? We, potential. Yeah, we don't have the full story on him yet. He's still kind of a mystery. But yep. he's one of my favorites because of what he's done already. Like, it's fantastic yeah. what he's done. Plus, it's like, I love the laugh. I can do the laugh. People know me because of the <laughs> laugh. Now, I'm not doing the laugh. We're not doing that. People always put me on the spot. No. You announce that you can do something and then you refuse to perform. That's the brattiest thing to do. That's what we do. It is. Yeah, so I'm doing it. All I'm right, not. Fine. You know how many people are like, hey, Jay, can you give us a laugh one time? I'm like, no, I'm not because I'm not some clown. I'm not some freak show. That's just going to yeah, laugh in the mic for you. You have to be a clown. Bad. You <laughs> love live action, Buggy? I liked how he looked because he reminded me of the Joker. I'm a big Joker fanboy. So mm -hmm. that kind of all together i i hope he's going for i wonder if he's going for the jokey, jokey buggy i wonder if he's going for the jokey buggy or actually like dark buggy and if he's going for dark buggy then his aesthetic makes even more sense i but think it could fun. be both i can i think he could be introduced as dark and then the more you interact with him the more clowny he becomes the more buggy we know he becomes right. but then you can still have horror scenes like you know whenever he utilizes his chop chop fruit and he's a disembodied head that's cackling at you like we can we can go back and forth that's true that is true okay fair enough i mean still either way i liked what i saw from buggy yeah. i'll say that how did you feel about the trailer since we're on it the teaser excuse me oh i loved it favorite parts it looked really good jay it did look good. There are some parts I had... Fist? The, the gum gum? I think it was the gum gum. The fist was like, eh. But I've never liked gum gum pistol in general. It's been like... Sure. It's his like go-to move. It's like... Every, even when I saw it as a kid, I'm like, all right, cool. Gum gum pistol. Eh. You know? I'm waiting for like the Gatling and the bazooka, all that. I love that. Um, but also gum gum never really sounded cool either so i'm not bothered by how he said it at all some people are like oh my god it's awful um overall i had a lot of hope because the trailer didn't look bad i was like okay the trailer's good that's what i'd say like my favorite parts i thought the sea king looked amazing right that's my favorite part like seeing the sea king i'm like okay like we're here like we're here zoro looked great a lot of people didn't like the character action, character interactions and the dry humor. Oh, I no. think it was great. I think it's, I think that's how it's supposed to be with live action. Like that's what live action, real life humor is supposed to be like. You can't translate 
the Japanese anime humor in real life. It's so cringe. We can't do that. And I don't know what people are expecting. So people need to view this show as if they're watching an actual real life show instead of watching an anime. And that's what I think people are completely missing. And it's very frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. No, I'm with you 100%. If they tried to translate it one to one, then it would look like the Full Metal Alchemist live action. Yep. It would look it would look so cringy because they're trying to do the anime faces and the anime mannerisms. And like, that's not what it needs to be. Yeah. It has to be its own format, which means that they have to adapt some of the interactions. And calling out the fact that Gum Gum Pistol seems cool to Luffy because he's so excited, and then yeah. like being like, no, that's not that's not actually cool. Like that's brilliant. That's what needs to happen is honoring what happens, but then also recognizing this doesn't work in this format. Exactly. That I love it. It gets me so excited. And Luffy, I think the actor is brilliant for him. I think that he he has that Luffy spirit. He I'm does. really excited about all the actors. I think the sets look really, really good. And obviously it's a minute and a half long, so it doesn't actually give us an image of what we're getting into. But exactly. as far as a minute and a half long trailer can be, it had me really excited because it didn't look corny. It looked mm. fun. It, it did look fun. silly, but fun. I still have I still have reservations because my expectations for live actions are we were talking about the bar is in hell. I don't know what's lower than hell, but like say the river sticks or something. Like it's like fair, right? <laughs> so like I've always told people this: if the live action is a seven out of ten, that is an unbridled success. Yeah, no, I'm with that you. I don't expect it to match the source material. That yeah. would be a ridiculous expectation. Yeah, I just want it to be fun. I just want yes. to have a nice time. I want it to be charming. Watchable, enjoyable. Like I can sit there, like, oh, I'm down to watch the next episode instead of, all right, can't watch it, can't. Exactly. I, I want a few scenes that I can mock because it's fun to mock live actions. But for the most part, I just want it to be just like this was this is charming. I'm just looking for charming. And hopefully it'll it'll be able to be at least that. I think what also helps is that um, the director has spoken and talked to a lot of the content creators. Some of us have met him. Um, very great guy very very passionate about the story like very yeah. passionate he knows the source material um we met emily at um comic-con we met him and emily at comic -Con. Oh, awesome. so we got to see how they feel about it as well and like they're very excited about it like just it adds an extra hope that it goes well when you talk to them so i will tell people like i am biased because i really am rooting for matt like 100 percent, i'm rooting for him but like also just generally well, he did say Hunter Hunter's Mint, so I'm still angry at him about that. That's just egregious. The Have series? You, the series, yes. Oh, no. Yeah. Why would he say that? He, I think he wanted to get under my skin. He, he was That's pulling violent. A U. Yeah, he was pulling a U. He, he was doing... Wow. Well, I mean, at least we'll get along. <laughs> can gang up on you together oh my god he already like enjoys that's like his pastime it's like oh i'm gonna make you mad like fuck jay um <laughs> he respects you hockey show though although i call it mid so i got it back on that one um somebody oh this is actually a random question but it's also important and then i'll tie it into the live action how do you feel about jersey sanji what? oh oh the kids thing <laughs> four kids sanji no no. no, you don't like no. Jersey Sanji. No. Why? What? Nah, I love Jersey Sanji. What? Just like for the memes? No, just in general. Like, I think if there was ever a a funny voice that could match the character of Sanji wearing a suit randomly in like hot weather, I feel like Jersey Sanji is perfect. I loved it. I okay. I view Sanji is two persons that I have to reconcile are one. So, not talking about his simp side, only talking about him when he's not in the presence of a pretty lady. I view Sanji as so smooth. Right. Like, hands in his pocket, chest lean back, like, shoulders back, he's smooth. Giving him an, ab <laughs> an abrasive Jersey accent, <laughs> really? You don't that think Jersey guys are smooth? I have in my head. Jersey guys can be smooth. Jersey, New Yorkers, Joey, That's Joey Wheeler, Brooklyn. <laughs> but the lollipop, that didn't move you? No. <laughs> I feel like that would translate well in the live action. Oh, yeah. 
you you tell Sanji's actor that he's now Jersey with a lollipop. Oh my God, it would be it would mean everything to me personally. <laughs> maybe, maybe he can make a short leaning into it. Oh my God, if he does, I'll ne yeah. Taz is his name. Oh my God, Taz, please, if you ever for some random reason come across this video, please just give me an That'd impression. That'd be amazing if they if they all just had a, a short that was a compilation of them leaning into their most caricaturized version. Yeah. He could be Jersey. Luffy's already a caricature. I don't even know what he would yeah, be. He really but is. Nami would be beating someone up. I can see that. And then Robin would... saying something morbid. Robin's dark humor. That's... Because I'm... Oh! Robin or Nami. Robin. You too? Yes. 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 Demon Robin? I loved Demon Robin. Demon Robin. I was moved. I was moved by Demon Robin. Yes. That was yeah. kind of fantastic. I love yeah. That. I'd marry her. Same. Yeah. Same. The chat is. Look at that. The chat saying W. That's great because I love seeing. They like us. Yes. That's the first time we're like an hour into the stream and they like us now. There you go. Well, actually, it's funny because you'd be surprised. Nami stands are like the most aggressive. They're just as aggressive as me on fans. Like if you ever say Robin over Nami, they think you're the stupidest person in the world. How many times are you gonna say that in the stream? Who else are you gonna call aggressive? Okay, so we got Nami stands, yeah. Mihawk stands, yeah. Zoro stands, Sanji stands for, we're overly defensive, so I, I won't, I won't like. Okay, we're that. gonna put Sanji on the list. Shanks are pretty, yeah, Shanks fans are pretty ratty. Yeah. Oh. Yamato stands, oh my god, please, they are like, you gotta that stay away from them. Yeah, that's just bad. Um, who else? Admirals, oh my god, people who love admirals, yes. So the admirals versus admiral Yonko, yes, yes, admiral versus Yonko. Yeah, Celestial dragon stands? I mean, I am because my grandfather's a celestial dragon, so technically, yeah. Let's unpack that. So let's, yeah, what, what are your questions? What are you concerned about? Um. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. She's speechless. We finally got her speechless. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure what to do with this one. <laughs> Does he um, put collars on people and ride them through town? So. No, I think he's a bit more dignified than that. I think in his youth, he used to do at that. One point for him. Yeah, at one point. But, you know, I, I consider myself one of the good ones. You know, oh. I I basically don't do that. Like, if oh, I so had... you dragon too? Not just your granddad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. Like, they call me St. J. St. J.D. Oh. I think, it's you know... It's a good joke. Keep going. You know what I'm saying? There's... You want to put your space suit on so that you don't have to breathe the same air as me? No. Is that why you're a webcam and you... you to come over when I was like, let's just stream in my place. And you were like, I can't breathe your air. Exactly. That's exactly why it was. Because listen, listen, there's no shame in that, right? I don't have an issue, you know, coming down <laughs> from my palatial estate. I don't have an issue with it. However. There's no shame in me not being willing to breathe the air of the there's, there's, there's no shame in that. But I like to think that at the bare minimum, I can be empathetic and, you know, speak to you because I why would I grace my presence with other people why would I stream I don't have to do that right I have enough power as is but yeah. I like to think that I can grace you guys with my presence and that's like a blessing right it's a mercy yeah. mercy or such and then also it's like I don't have slaves you know I take care of myself I live you know you know but I you live support alone. slavery you don't have slaves but you support slavery. I don't support it I actively Probably. speak against it I do your celestial dragon brothers they're they're fine with it Honestly, I don't consider them brothers. Like, I haven't gone to the barbecue in, like, the last maybe 10 years. So, like, I'm not really with them, for real. It's just me. That's why, at the bare minimum, I may not want to breathe your air, but I'll stream to you guys and interact with you guys. That's why it's, it's more comfortable for me to you talk know, in the chat. You're a good one, Jay. I am a good one. Thank you. I've been trying to tell people you. that. Yeah. Yeah, you're I, considerate. Thanks for interacting with us. Oh, you're welcome. I mean, I advocate. I got a few hashtags out there, you know. You hate yeah. Fishman, though. No, I like fish. No. <laughs> I like fish. Fish is great. <laughs> to eat? You like the fish to eat? Salmon's pretty good. I don't like tuna though, so like I don't, you know, I think they're okay. Oh, they're safe. Yeah, they're safe. I do hate tontadas though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a very that's the only racist part of my body. I just hate tontadas. That's like, you can enslave uh, them and that would be fine. I mean at this point they're they're just so tiny they might as well just disappear. Step on him. There's really no point. I've complained a little bit, but we can't find okay. them. Okay. This is good chat. I'm enjoying this chat. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm so scared because I know there's a short coming out on this at some point. Yeah. So yeah. If the sports guy doesn't do it, I will. He's literally like rubbing his hands together like Birdman. He's having a great time. Even Par. I know Par Par's in the chat too. So he's Oh hey Par. He's, yeah, he's gonna be excited about this. Um I, I consider myself more in the Miso Guard, Don Quixote realm, where it's like uh I came down from Mary Joe's. I still live in like a. a yeah, you still live in your mansion. Yeah, you the still penthouse. Won't necessarily interact with them, yeah, but you know, you know still I'm room not service. Press them actively. Yeah, exactly. So I'm working on it. We've had a few petitions. I'm trying to tell them slavery's bad. Honestly, the reason the fishermen were able to come up, Otahime and all that, like, I'm not gonna say anything, but like I had a, I had a hand in that, you know. You so made I'm them feel safe. You're exactly. You're not gonna them necessarily, but you made them feel safe. I made that. them feel safe. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I had a hand in that. So this is all yeah. important stuff here. So I, like I said, I'm I'd proud like of to you. say, I, thank you. You know, Some real it, activism, Jay. It, it means a lot because I've been getting a lot of abuse. People call me racist, a big. I don't know oh. where that came from. Honestly, that doesn't sound right. It doesn't That's sound like me. false accusations. Yeah, you you know. seem like a lovely guy. Yeah, I have fishman friends, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have them. a fishman friend. I have a fishman friend, you cool. know. I told this one fishman, like, oh, you're one of the good ones. Like, you're my favorite fishman. Like, oh, my God. So, just like a funny like backstory. To, I don't touch him or anything. No, 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 no. So, funny backstory to this. The reason this is so funny, because I remember when I, so I went to a private Christian school in Delaware, which is like, oh, my God. You, you should understand. Basically, small town, like, that. <laughs> what does that mean, Jay? I know what you know what it means. You all right? know what it's like. Yes. So I remember in my yearbook, going back in my yearbook when I'm in college and looking at it as I'm getting older and I'm, I'm my brain is actually working. And I see a lot of people signing it. Oh, you're my favorite black guy. I got a lot of that. A lot Whoa. of that when I got that. I was like, I remember back then I was like, man, this is great. Like all this stuff. Now I'm looking, I'm like, oh my god, this is favorite white guy. Yeah, I was like, that's <laughs> I was like, that's so racist. Oh my God. Like, what? I never, I never understood, but that's how, yeah, that's how it was back then. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's so crazy how the times have changed yeah. because they used to, white people used to love making racist jokes all the time. And it's like, you're so sunken that you'd laugh at it. And you're like, ha ha ha. And it was like, oh, he's a cool black guy. Like, and every, yes, everybody from my time period in the early, early, early 2000s, middle school, high school, they all have the same story. All of them. If you went to a private school, that is. If you went to a different school, then it's a, it's a little different story. But yes. What was Small the story? Oh, well, they're probably more racially aware of this. There's just a lot more black people. I think there was like, what, five, six black people in my entire graduate class. So we were, uh, yeah. Yeah. I know already, so. Well, that's why you were their favorite, because you were the only one they knew. No, it's because I was funny and everyone liked me. Because I was oh, funny. Well. I was the class. At least you had good reasons. Exactly. Right? And I wasn't stereotypical. I was Nigerian, a little sheltered, so I didn't look stereotypically black. They call me Oreo, Panda, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd have the white guys coming up. Oh, I'm blacker than you. I'm like, ha ha ha, very funny. So that's why you, uh, that's why you're, you don't like breathing other people's air. Exactly. Yeah, I grew up in that, so now it's like, it's my turn. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's <laughs> my turn. So this makes sense. <laughs> yeah, not the Oreo, it's they did. Oh, my chat. They're making fun of me. Clips guy hasn't taken a lunch break. Oh, yeah. Nah. Chosen, you cannot. You cannot put that clip out there. <laughs> Send it to me. I'll put it out No, there. don't give it to her because she actually will use it. Like, <laughs> Oh, my God. Where did, where did we go? Okay, so Saint. What's next? There was something I wanted to ask you, and then you got me talking about being a saint. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. You've like what were we out. talking about? This has been quite the sight. We were talking about the yeah. We were talking about the live action. At oh, first, yeah. Emily supporting supporting the Matt. Everybody all that stuff. into their memes. Nami over Robin. That's it. I had another Nami question. Over Robin. Yes. Okay. Um, and we will be doing a tier list. You're gonna love the tier list. Okay. You're gonna love the tier list. That's gonna be great. Um, oh yeah, Nami stands. Okay, next question, toxic question. Oh, stands, we were listing off the toxic stands. Yeah, okay, so we left off Thanks, at Daniel. Celestial Dragons. Ooh, chat, am I missing? I mean, there was Dofi versus Crocodile at one point. Katakuri stands, oh my God. Really? Yes, so it was all about, there was a whole war about Future Sight. Future Sight, is Katakuri oh. stronger than Zoro? Zoro versus Katakuri, that was a whole, yes, yes. That was a thing. 
Okay. Luffy, Luffy stands. Yes, they're bad. Very okay. bad. Yeah, they're the worst. Um, Katakuri. Oh, like Katakuri. I, I'm trying to think of toxic people I've interacted with, and I just haven't really that much. But I think it's because I'm not on Twitter. That's such a smart thing to do. Like you have no idea how smart that is. Like honestly, like your piece is like ten, like times sixty right now. Um, I don't think I could be in a YouTuber if I existed on Twitter. No, it wouldn't be good. I've seen Joy Girl is one of the sweetest girls I know, and she got abuse from Twitter for just making videos. Like literally, like she doesn't troll nothing on Twitter, and people are like, yo, fuck you, Joy Girl, like you stole this theory, and she's like. I just, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was like, it was just, ew, yeah, it's it's bad. We we did mention we did mention Shank fans. I mean, I I was the abuser of kids stands, so technically I wouldn't say they're toxic. <laughs> I kind of just, you know. So maybe that someone said J stands. I don't know. J stands aren't toxic. Are we toxic? I said that, and I even put up a finger. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> think that counts. We're rats. We're not toxic. We're just, you know, a little rambunctious. No? Oh, right. sorry. I was reading the chat. <laughs> I stopped listening to you. I'll switch back over oh, You're fine. <laughs> oh, so Rayleigh stands, Mihawk stands, and Zoro stands are all the same, but they're just different subsects. Oh. Yes. So think of like... So I would say Zoro stands are like... Just follow me here because this is a crazy analogy. Zoro stands are like your regular African Americans. Mihawk okay. stands are Caribbean. And then Rayleigh stands are Dominican. And the reason I say that is because Dominicans and Caribbeans sometimes like to say they're not black to okay. disassociate themselves with African Americans where they are actually all just black. You're all the same. Like just you're just from a different demographic. So that's what I'm trying to say. No, it worked. I think it definitely worked. The chat's like, this is a crazy analogy. Am I wrong? Yeah, I'm cool. gonna not speak on that. I'll just okay, let you go. very smart. But at the same time, <laughs> I think I'm correct. I thought that was a great analogy. Okay, good job. Or bad job. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm getting validated by the chat because they know I'm right. You I see? Nah, he's spitting. There you go. Great analogy. That. See, I got it. You're not Honestly. getting validated. People are just laughing at you. Okay, but that's good, right? Laughing is validation. <laughs> it makes sense. That is actually a good short. That's actually a great short, actually. Yeah, say use that one. I want I want to use that one. Okay. I'm just <laughs> making content today. This is great. All right. Let's get on to this tier list because All right, let's do it. this is gonna be fun. So now I'm about to take a risk and switch.